What is up, nerds? Me and Mother Nerd here, and welcome, welcome back to a new video. It's been a minute. A moment of silence, if you will, please. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's been some months. I think the last video I uploaded um, was a uh, Mortal Kombat aftermath video i believe it was um but uh today um i decided to come back a little a little you know easy with a sunday chilling video and i'll be reacting to uh, two videos uh, from the same uh subject if you will and that subject i'm talking about is the dragon ball sparking zero video game um yeah i think that was announced at e3 i think last year um i didn't get to see it live time um i think i saw the like that little teaser thing for it afterwards but yeah i don't really know anything else about it um what i think yesterday when i was on youtube i saw there was a i guess official trailer for it now so we're gonna see uh, what that is about so i think first i'm gonna watch the not the teaser teaser like not like the 10 20 second one but an, another one i believe that came out um so i'm gonna watch that first then the official one and see uh, uh what the what is uh, but before I get into the actual video, I'm here on the uh, Bandai Namco website for the game. And I'm going to read through uh, essentially what this game is going to be about. Um, as I'm looking at the website right now, the release date is still to be announced. Uh, action battle game, of course. Uh, the developers for the game is Spike Chungsoft. So I am familiar with those developers. They have developed... Uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. Um, I think they was a part of um, Fighter Z, Or I'm just mistaken. I, I do know. Um, what's their name? I can't think of their name. But they also did the Strive. Uh, Guilty Gear. Strive games. Uh, but I can't think of their name. I think they the ones that did the whole they were the main developers of fighter z or if uh spike chungsoft was also a part of it as well i don't know i don't remember seeing their uh, logo pop up during the you know loading screen into the title screen of the game but anyway i'm familiar with the with these developers um so here we go uh make yours the destructive power of the strongest fighters ever to appear in dragon ball dragon ball sparking Zero takes the legendary gameplay of the Budokai Tenkaichi series and raises it to whole new levels. Okay. Uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has an incredible number of playable characters, each with signature abilities, transformations, and techniques. Unleash the fighting spirit within you and take the fight to arenas that crumble and react to your power as the battle rages on. Uh, so still to be announced, but they will be coming on or the game will be coming on ps5 the xbox series x and s and pc so i think i'm gonna go ahead and watch this announcement trailer uh since that's the first video that came up on the screen so i'm gonna go ahead and watch that uh right now Peggy 12.
show you the horrors of hell. Now perish alone with this planet! Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I saw it's going to be on the uh, Unreal Engine 5. Uh, I'm going to save I'm gonna save my opinions and thoughts uh, until the very end, until I watched the, the, I guess, the recent trailer that had came out for it. So, moving on, uh, key features to the game. Uh, breathtaking 3D fights, uh, which, what I, which I saw in the uh, official teaser. Uh, engage in heart-pounding, high-speed 3D battles that stay true to the anime and video game series. With the breathtaking visuals and authentic combat moves like beam clashes, rush attacks, movements, movements too quick for the eyes to see, and planet raising ultimate attacks. Uh, the ground will shake. Step into an arena that reacts to your every action as you transform or unleash your most devastating attacks. Watch the environment res respond with stunning realism. Leave a trail of destruction in your wake as you battle to your heart's content. And the links to put it on your wish list from the three platforms. And now, uh, here we go uh, at the bottom. So I, I believe, let's see, this was January 29th of 2024. The first 24 characters of the Dragon Ball uh, Sparking Zero game. So I guess that's what the news, recent news uh, was uh, the first 24 characters of the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero roster are officially revealed alright uh, so it begins prepare yourself for an electrifying journey, journey into the world of martial, uh, martial arts I was going to say martial combat <laughs> intense battles and unimaginable power as we unveil the first 24 characters set to take center stage in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero uh, let's see Let's see, what is this here? Uh, no, I don't want that. I thought it was going to send me to a video, but no. Okay, here we go. Goku makes his grand entrance location his signature moves, such as the Kamehameha and Super Saiyan transformations. Get ready for an adrenaline pumping experience as he's go head to head with his lifelong rival. Vegeta steps into the ring with an air of pride and power. Witness his fiery spirit and relentless determination as he unleashes his signature devastating attack like the final flash and big bang attack. Get ready to witness a cinematic spectacle of these iconic warriors in Dragon Ball. Clash in the mesmerizing display of skills and strength as they transform into more and more powerful forms. Uh, so... Before I watch the video, they already have the characters here. Each character brings a unique blend of techniques and abilities, promising an unforgettable gaming experience for Dragon Ball enthusiasts and fighting game aficionados alike. All right, so here are the characters. Um, I'm smirking because um, you'll see in a minute, and I'll probably have it on, on the screen. Uh, the characters reveal uh, you have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, the first 11 characters are Goku. <laughs> um, they do have in parentheses, I guess, uh, specifics of who the, who these Gokus are. Um, for number one, it has Goku. Z, Z stands for, you know, the Z series. Uh, but when it says early and mid, early, mid, and end... I'm assuming that means in the beginning parts of Z, the middle part and the end part. So maybe early part is like um, the what Saiyan, Saiyan Saga. Mid part is maybe Frieza, Frieza and Cell. And end is the Boo Saga, I assume. Um, so those were the, the first seven, the Z series Goku. 
uh, his Super Saiyan form, Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. Um, they also have, they have a repeat here, uh, Goku Z mid-series Super Saiyans. I don't know what that was about. Maybe a typo. I don't know. Or maybe just a, a different, um, different form of his. Maybe the Cell one where it was like Super Saiyan grade two or something. Uh, but, uh, number eight is Goku from the super series then going back down to 10 super series super saiyan god and the super saiyan god super saiyan so those are the first 11 characters uh so the rest that you may imagine is vegeta uh, so you have his z series in his scouter form his a uh, great ape form of uh, the early series of vegeta with the addition of a Super Saiyan. Then you have Super Vegeta. Then you have his Z series at the end. Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2. Uh, then you have Majin Vegeta. Then you have Vegeta in his Super. In the, in the Super series. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Those are the first 24 characters that we're going to get. Uh, Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me watch this video. I'm assuming it's, it it is just gonna be of them two, and uh, we're gonna see uh, what this is about. Peggy twelve. Still far superior to you! Alright, let's go! Let our battle commence! Now to show you the overwhelming power of a super elite Saiyan! And... K.O. Ken! Yeah! Hot! First open and mix! This is why the Saiyans are feared as conquerors of countless planets! You lose! I'm angry! By my hatred, the Super Saiyan within me erupted into life! Let's see if you can keep up! Let me show you! I don't care how strong you think you are! I am going to win! If that's what you want, then I'm not gonna waste any time! I'm quite eager to see how you've been training in the afterlife. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. You had better be ready to kill me. For you to go this way, you must have wanted to settle the score real badly, huh, Vegeta? I will defeat you this day! So this is a Super Saiyan God's power! Uh, I'm tired! Too bad! Yeah. I'm looking for what's beyond strength. There's no limit to the strength of the Saiyans. Breakthrough? The limit! Okay. Um. <clears throat> Again, I'm awake. Let me see. Let me finish the website. Uh, brace yourself for explosive battles, ultimate moves, and powerful transformations as you take control of these legendary fighters and unleash the extraordinary powers upon your adversaries. The stage is set and the characters are starting to be revealed. The ultimate Dragon Ball fighting experience is one step closer. So, uh, yep, I think that is it. Um, no, no. Oh, yep, that is it. Um, so as through the video, I did see they got other characters up there, so it's not just gonna be all of their transformations. <laughs> um, 
I guess the first question will I that I would ask, will they have their um GT forms up there? That is a question. Um, but other than that, uh, obviously Broly is going to be there because they showed him Frieza. Um, I didn't see Cell in the official teaser trailer, uh, but I think he he is up here. I see him up here in, in this roster uh, picture here. I see Jaren, Gohan. I think I saw Krillin and Yamcha. I saw Hercule as well. Uh, who else? Um, Trunks, I think. Piccolo, Tien, and Bardock. I don't know if there's Bardock up there. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so my thoughts on this game. Um, first, visually, it looks amazing. It kind of has that. I know it says Budokai Ten- Tenkaichi series, but I can't really compare it to that because I never played those games. I know, I know, I know. Save, save the judgment for later. But I can say that it does look very familiar to um, Raging Blast 2. That is, that is, that is the verse, first Dragon Ball game that I have played that I can remember vividly. Um, so, yeah, it reminds me of that with the 3D open worldness with the designs more of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Um, so, uh, yeah. So hopefully it doesn't have the cons of Dragon Ball Z uh, Kakarot with its, um, budgeting of the effects or whatever. I hope it stays, if not, you know, up each arc or whatever like if even if this does even if this has a story mode if it does i hope it you know has a gradual increase in the effects or whatever or at the very least stay consistent throughout um uh yeah that's that would be my only concern with that um i um what else i don't know like i'm still looking at this ro- uh, roster uh chart here i was about to say rastafarian <laughs> uh this roster here and i don't know i don't know it kind of seems too crowded to me and this is just from like a, a cosmetic or aesthetic of you from my part um especially if you're gonna have the these many variations of the same character you should just have that character you know in its base form and then when you click on that character their different forms pop up you know like they did in uh raging blast 2 i kind of preferred that because if they had every individual character in their own slot it would it would take up a majority of the screen 90 percent of the screen and essentially that's what this does <laughs> um yeah but i guess they wanted to do it this way because I, I don't again i don't know how it will be you know displayed because like in raging blast 2 when you hover over the character you know, your character show up on your side of the screen, you know, player one and player two or whatever. Here, from what I'm looking at, it's not going to have that room to do so. So when you go over your character, it's just, you know, I guess once you pick them and to go to the screen that it'll show like their full image or whatever, or maybe not. Who knows? Um, Will there be any type of customizations, items or whatever in this game? Uh, will you be able to switch out? Uh, the different supers or do they just come with their set of supers and does it change in each will it change when you go to the different forms um what else i'm trying to think because again i'm i'm trying to 
I'm making Raging Blast 2 as my reference. Um, what else? How big is the open uh, area for this fighting? Um, if there isn't any story mode to it, then I'm assuming there won't be an open world. That's why I said open area. Like how big would the fight zone be? Like how far you can travel up, down, and to the sides. Because um, I do know in Rage of Blast 2, uh, some of the fields are pretty big. It's a pretty big area. But others, in some of the stages, or other stages, it's not that big. Like you can't go very far. Um, so I wonder what's that going to be like for this game. Uh, what else? Um... I really, obviously, it's going to be an online thing. Hopefully, the the net code for it uh, is good. I hope everything dealing with online is good. There is no big issues for that. Um, will this be a tournament? A tournament game like Fighter Z? Um. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not getting that feel from it. I honestly feel like this was like, this is a game that was like to be, um, what not necessarily brought back to basics, but like, um, you know, being what it used to be like back in the day, you know, just having fun, you know, with your friends on the game, local play, things like that. I don't, I don't foresee in this being a, a, a highly competitive, you know, pro level gaming. I think Z Fighter Z is in that spot, and there's no other Dragon Ball game that's going to take that. Um. What else? Um, I, I'm I'm looking through, and I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can talk about. But no, there really isn't anything else. Because, like I said, uh, the release date for it uh, is not revealed. Um, the only thing I can say is, well, I don't know. It depends. Whenever it does come out, I may be able to play it. Uh, I won't be able to play it on my system because I still have the Xbox One S. Uh, shoot, I still have my Xbox 360. <laughs> um, but um, I, I I won't buy a whole new system just for one game. I will say that. However, if I do decide to get it or somebody give it to me as a gift, um. I do have a way to play it. I know somebody with a PS5 and I will be playing it. I, I will be playing it on that if if it was gotten for me or if I if I got it in some way. Um, but yeah. Um, anything else? No, there's really nothing else. Really nothing else. That's really it. Um, so, yep, there you have it. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Um, like it, it looks good. It looks good. I won't say I'm excited. I'm excited for it to come out, but I'm I'm very interest interested to see what it will be about. That I can say. Um, so I think that that'd be it for me, y'all. Uh, what did y'all think? What did y'all think about uh, this game? Um, if you can think of anything else, what you think that it may have or what you think uh, it should have in the game. Or what do you think it, um, what do you hope that it doesn't have that other games did that made it bad? And what do you think the game should have that other games did that made it good? Other games being the other Dragon Ball games, obviously. But uh, anyway, yeah, you guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. And um, uh, that'll be it for me.
if you enjoyed the video you know what to do like share subscribe get this out there to all the nerds in the universe multiverse and alternate dimensions and i will see you in the next one the immortal nerd signing off